hey, it's Mando Monday. What does that mean? Carl, what does that mean? It means a bunch of Black Series and Vintage Collection stuff was revealed, and then immediately available for pre-order in the middle of a business day. Surely you can't be serious. And all the Black Series figures were exclusives at different retailers, whose pre-orders all went live at the same time. That's a great idea. And that's not all. It isn't? No, the TVC figures pre-orders all went live at the same time as all the Black Series exclusives, but on a completely different website from all of the Black Series. There's no way that anything could go wrong with this genius setup, so let's check it out. Welcome to CKC, I'm Matt, and if you like Star Wars and Star Wars collecting, you're in the right place. Hit subscribe, like this video, and hold on to your butts. Whoa, Mando Mondays? What the hell is that? Do you know? Do you care? Well, apparently it's Disney's latest way to get you to buy more meaningless crap, because who doesn't need more Baby Yoda Polaroid instant film? So starting on October 26th, and then every Monday after the Season 2 Mandalorian episodes, for nine weeks, a bunch of new products, toys, collectibles, books, etc. will be available at mandomondays.com, so that Disney, Hasbro, and every other manufacturer of needless junk don't miss out on billions of dollars of revenue from Baby Yoda type stuff, like they did last year, when it took them six months to release anything that had the child on it. Yeah, now you can buy them right after the show. So there's pops and books and film. Don't forget the film and all that stuff you can do on your own time. But I'm mostly concerned about the reveal and the pre-orders of the long rumored credit collection for the Black Series. There are five credit collection Black Series figures which are all from the Mandalorian and are all carded with some awesome artwork. The packaging and the unique paint job that each figure gets is inspired by the credit images from the Mandalorian episodes. They each also come with an Imperial credit as an accessory, which is actually pretty cool. And the figures really look stunning. So we have the Mandalorian himself, who looks awesome. He's an Amazon exclusive. Then we have Cara Dune, the badass. She's a Target exclusive. Then we have everyone's second favorite robot bounty hunter, IG-11, a GameStop exclusive. Then we have everyone's favorite overweight Mandalorian, the heavy infantry Mando. He's a Best Buy exclusive. And then we have everyone's favorite Imperial Death Trooper, the Imperial Death Trooper, and he's also an Amazon exclusive. And yes, you heard that right. There's two out of the five are Amazon exclusives. Hasbro, do you not remember what happened last time? Or the time before that? Amazon is still trying to straighten out the Han and Carbonite and the Carbonized Vader problems. Not to mention the fact that literally 99% of the Forlom and Zuckus 2-packs Amazon sent out arrived damaged, including mine. And one of the Amazon exclusives is the Mandalorian himself. The most popular one. Jesus Christ. You can expect to get your dinged up Mandalorian credit collection figure half smashed and arriving in a padded envelope sometime in the near future. All the figures are $24.99 except the heavy Mando. He's $34.99. And why are these exclusives, Hasbro? You know they're going to be in high demand. So why are you making them extra hard to get? We just went over how there wasn't enough of the Galaxy's Edge Black Series figures. And then you make all of these individual exclusives. And that also means that at least for right now, international collectors are probably just screwed. And I can't stand these ambush tactics Hasbro's using on us as collectors, basically scaring us into buying or pre-ordering their releases. Take these credit collection figures for example. They don't reveal them until the day of pre-order. Make them all exclusives. So we as collectors barely have time to consider whether or not we want them before it's time to pre-order. And they're all exclusives, so as collectors, we think we might not get a second chance at them, so we're scared into pre-ordering them so we don't miss out. Remember the good old days when Hasbro would tell us almost all of their plans for releases like a year or six months in advance? That's what Toy Fair is for, Hasbro. But this Toy Fair, Hasbro didn't show us much that was coming out except for the Mission Fleet stuff. Most of the other stuff they had on display was already out. And why are you doing these right now? Your stupid Hasbro Pulse convention is only a few days away, with more exclusives that we've all been psyched for. Not to mention there's already four waves of Black Series figures out right now. We have the Rebels wave, the Attack of the Clones wave, which who knows will ever hit Target and Walmart, the new Phase 4 boxes wave, and the Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary wave 3. And don't forget about the Clone Wars wave from Walmart, it's supposed to be shipping at the beginning of October. Holy Christ, that's a lot of Black Series. But also revealed and available for pre-order today from Walmart only, and unfortunately at 4 p.m. Eastern Time as well, is the new Vintage Collection Carbonize figures, also all from The Mandalorian. These have been rumored, but a lot of people were like, no way, they won't do that. And then these turn up, and they turn out to be the figures from the rare stone codenames like Emerald and Sapphire. We have the Carbonized Mando, 
Fantastic. We have the Carbonized Caradoon. Wonderful. We have the Carbonized Remnant Stormtrooper. Very nice. And we have the Carbonized Death Trooper. Super. I don't think they're Walmart exclusive since one was spotted in a Target a couple days ago, shown by Kylo Collector on Instagram, but who knows? So I had to go back to put this in, but apparently those TVC Carbonized figures are Walmart exclusives. I actually went back and bought them because I have a serious problem. But once you do that, you can see in the listing that it says Walmart exclusive. So I don't know what happened with the guy that found one in Target. Maybe it was really a Walmart. But according to Walmart, right now, these are Walmart exclusives. And you know what? That is the second time that that's happened. Hasbro, you have to tell us what's an exclusive and what's not. The same thing happened with the Clone Wars Walmart pre-orders. We didn't know if they were exclusives or not, and we still don't. And now it happens again. How about some clarity? So these are obviously a cash grab by Hasbro, a lazy and easy way to get us to buy more of the same figures. And some people on Instagram who've commented on the post of these are not happy with this. Also, a small note, what's up with the pictures lately from Hasbro? The official press images. Some are far away, some are from close, and a couple of the carbonized ones, I can barely see them. Can we get any farther away? Where'd you shoot this, from up in a tree? I can't even see what I'm buying for these two. And I noticed the problem also on those five packs that they announced recently. Hasbro, you're just outside the Fortune 500. You can't get some uniformity in your pictures for your releases? I could do it, and I'm just a dude at his computer with an iPhone. So, the pre-orders. So obviously someone who doesn't collect action figures and has never been waiting for the clock to tick down to the right time to start pressing refresh repeatedly scheduled the pre-order times. So there's five Black Series credit collection figures exclusive to four different retailers. The Mando and the Death Trooper were Amazon, IG-11 was GameStop, Cara Dune was Target, and the Heavy Mando was Best Buy. And on top of that, the four TVC carbonized figures had their pre-orders open, and all of this happened at the same time. I can't be at five different sites all at the same time. And nowadays, because Hasbro and other retailers don't know what they're doing, pre-orders sell out in less than a minute. You have to anticipate that these days. If you can't be there 10 minutes before the pre-order opens, it's not even worth trying. How is one person supposed to be at all five places at 4 p.m.? It's impossible. One collector can't get everything. You need a team. Luckily for us, they didn't open right at four, but holy Christ. I was like, who thought this up? This is insane. But even though they all didn't open at 4 p.m., you still had to be on your toes to get some of these. The heavy Mando from Best Buy was a disaster. I mean, did anyone get one? What time did it open? If you know, let me know in the comments. There wasn't even a listing for it until way after 4 p.m. Then, a little after 6 p.m., pre-orders for the heavy Mando were open for less than a minute, and then the listing switched from pre-order to coming soon, and it stayed like that for almost two hours. I must have clicked refresh like a thousand times until I ate dinner and tried again and finally got the pre-order thing to click and I'm like, yes, I put it in my cart, tried to pay and it said they were all sold out. So what time did it go live? Like 7.45? What the hell, Best Buy? Are you trying to start a riot? When it comes to Star Wars, your action figure game needs to be on point. If it's four o'clock, that shit better be on there at four o'clock. So I missed out on that one. Surprisingly, the Cara Dune credit collection at Target opened right at 4 and was sold out by 4.01. I got her in my cart to pay right when she opened, and that still wasn't fast enough to buy one. The TVC Carbonized Mando, he sold out in about a minute, but there's more up now. The other three TVC Carbonized figures are still up as well, but I don't really know how much of a demand there really was for them, as most people that I talked to saw right through Hasbro's cash grab and weren't really interested in these. Then the Death Trooper opened on Amazon, and that one's still open. And the GameStop I IG-11 opened a few minutes late, but was only open for about five minutes before it was sold out. And Amazon kept us waiting, and waiting, and waiting for that Mandalorian to open as I started to curse them out loud as I received text of people with their annoyance and hatred for Hasbro since we all thought we missed it. But then at 4.34, about 34 minutes after the Amazon Death Trooper opened, which made it a little bit stranger, the Mando opened and it is still open at this point. So you have to give credit where credit's due. At least they anticipated that one being extremely popular and manufactured enough that it could stay open longer than a minute. But you can't schedule all the pre-orders at different retailers at the same time like that, especially if you, Hasbro, 
row aren't going to manufacture enough figures and the retailers you're dealing with are still clueless about bot prevention. You gotta stagger them or something or do them on different days. You gotta give us a chance to get there. And you're just feeding the scalpers. What do you guys think of the new figures? Did you pre-order any? Could you? Will you? What do you think of the carbonized TVC figures? Also, I'm taking votes for the best Black Series figures. You can vote in the comments of this video, but you have to tell me why you're voting for that figure. And you can vote for as many figures as you want, but you have to tell me why. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and happy hunting out there, or pre-ordering, I guess.